All right, let's talk dirty money. Not the one Protégé sings about, but literal dirty money. So whether at the cashier or the ATM, you have come in contact with money at some point. And with COVID-19 on the rise, we have to check out how we conduct our transactions. Our financial friends, Daniel Cameron Duncan and Gillian Parag are here to help. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning. morning. We've had some time in the break to be talking about all of this stuff, but let us start at the top. How does money become a carrier for germs? Yes. <laughs> Who wants to tackle it? I'll, I'll go ahead. So, like anything we touch, anything in our surroundings, it will become a carrier. If you go to the supermarket and you touch a can of corned beef, somebody else can carry, touch that, and then it spreads. So it's just like that. Money, you know, we need it. Commerce is a part of our daily lives. So it's unavoidable, mm -hmm. and that is how money becomes a carrier. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how do we know, as as banks, how do you? prevent or try to limit the amount of contact people have with physical money. Right. So the, the bank can't really limit the amount of contact we have with, with, what would you suggest? with physical money. What we suggest <laughs> is that you use mostly electronic payments. So if you go and use your card at our point of sale machine instead of paying cash at the supermarket, for example, if you use internet banking or mobile transactions, so you basically do all your transfers, all your bill payments through your app, through mobile app or through internet banking, then you're not actually exchanging cash, which is which is reducing your interaction with cash. Yeah, but, but you said the card. You said mm -hmm. if I hold my card right. and I give it to someone to swipe, isn't, right. wouldn't that still be the same? There is some interaction, but there's less interaction than the amount of times cash should have passed hands between individuals, between the register, between yourself. Mm -hmm. So you can't avoid using cash, <laughs> you can use cash less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And of course, after you use cash, you can sanitize. sanitize yeah. Exactly. Yes. Well, I, I know Dwayne just brought up the card situation and I just had a little moment of panic when I went to the supermarket <laughs> a couple of days ago. Right. Took the card out, used it, mm -hmm. and then pushed it back in where it was and then I was like, Oh, but wait, everybody else just touched it a while ago. How do I sanitize that? And mm -hmm. of course, the way I did it, I hear it is wrong and the card might not work. <laughs> right, right. But tell right. us how to so go So that's a major that. concern and we understand. So some, well, I'll mention first that some of our cards are actually tap and go. Some mm -hmm. of them, were, that's new technology that is being implemented. Mm -hmm. If you look on your card, mainly the credit card, you'll see a sign that looks like the Wi-Fi sign. Mm -hmm. That card can actually just touch the machine Very right. cool. and go. Um, but for your card, cleaning your card, so we have to clean everything, especially your phones. If you're doing online banking, to still clean your phone. Mm -hmm. um, but when you're cleaning your card, don't put the alcohol or the sanitizer on, <laughs> on the magnetic the strip. On the magnetic strip. We don't want you to be stranded without money. <laughs> Please, when you're cleaning, be very mindful of that. I yeah. said, we like, yeah, I did that before. I wonder if I go to the gas station. If <laughs> there will be anything. So you have to be very careful when you're cleaning the cards. But yes, clean, clean anything you can, sanitize yourself. I know we've been saying it's sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. Right. But it's really a best defense against I, this. I, I'm not sure who best can answer this, but the... the virus itself lives mm -hmm. on surfaces for a period of time. Do you know how long it would live on Cash? money? Ooh, on Cash. money. Oh, I actually don't have yeah. that exact. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, I know yeah. it's the, the COVID-19, it stays on surfaces for about six to nine days. Right. Depending on the surface, on the right. surface. Yeah. whether it's metal or plastic. Okay. Right. So, it'd be, so metal, plastic, and then paper. Right. So it would last longer on metal, plastic. As should to be mm -hmm. Well, um, the paper is changing hands more, more often. often. Mm -hmm. yeah. But again, this is not an official response right. to that yeah, question, right? Mm -hmm. But in a way I'm thinking about it, if paper is changing hands more often, then you're more likely to have contact with something that would have retained mm -hmm. that right. particular germ. And while your card goes to the cashier, yes. Right. That's versus it's one exchange. Cashier, that hundred dollar reach to... mobile, like yeah. you don't know where the money goes. Yeah. Right. What I've noticed though, um, at different financial institutions that they're installing sanitizers. Right, right, right. Outside. How, how much do you think that will help? I think significantly. So in the same way in which you're entering every building, you're sanitizing. So you want to sanitize on your way in and you want to sanitize on your way out. So mm -hmm. we've made a point of putting sanitizers in all of the branch locations, as well as increasing the amount of times that we wipe down things like the handles, all of the touch points mm -hmm. within the branch, so that we have a staff that's there all day long, as opposed to coming in once or twice and, and cleaning the area. So all right. of those things that we have multiple touch points on, mm -hmm. including the ABMs, I right? was just because, about to ask. Yeah. So we have people who come in, the, 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 our partners have been coming in more often now, to clean the ABMs, so we always had them come in every day to do a wipe down or twice a day to do a wipe down of the ABMs. But they're actually coming in more often, cleaning the surfaces of the screen, because we have quite a few touch screens, mm -hmm. as well as all of the buttons that are on the machine. So there are no sanitizers at the ABMs, because that might be... There are 
advertisers in the branch location but to not, all of the branch of the future. Like the and then we're going to look at adding additional uh, sanitizers mm -hmm. as well. So, so what we ask mm -hmm. people to do is sanitize on your way in mm -hmm. and sanitize on your way out. But don't actually sanitize the machines. Yes, yeah. that's because that's what like the cars, yes. <laughs> <laughs> right? They will stop working. But yes. yeah. Because a lot of times people will, t if you have sanitization machines in the ABM, people tend to abuse them. Right. 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 Because squirt, squirt, so you'll find some people five times, they're like, yes. is this a show or is it <laughs> Right. <laughs> Calm down. Right. Yeah. So, how, okay, now the important thing for me is how do you protect your tellers? Mm. Right. The people are on the line because they handle Interact money so more than anybody else. else. Right. Um, um, it, it's an ongoing discussion that we've been having around whether or not we're going to actually hand out gloves or not. So um, we haven't done that yet, I don't not believe. Yet. It's one of the things that we're considering as well. But in the interim, I mean, no, we're not stopping anybody from doing gloves. But what we do are doing, like I said, is we're encouraging people to sanitize. We've provided all of the, mm -hmm. all of this, the, um, sanitizer, sanitizer mm -hmm. right? Um, so that we can, so that we can be constantly kind of keeping So before you interact with the customer service rep, the teller, we're asking to sanitize, they're sanitizing. They're on sanitizing their on their side as mm -hmm. well. So the exchanges, you know. Kind of all right, so contactless options, online banking, mm -hmm. mobile app. Mm -hmm. Mobile app. Yeah, full right. service ABMs. And right. you said the touch. And the yes. touch. Tap and go. Point but point not point. everybody has those, yes, you guys. Don't go right. with your regular yeah, car. Yeah, not every car. Your regular car, just, it has to have a sign that looks right. like a Wi-Fi signal. And also, we right. want to encourage, because you know, it's NCB Group, so we're looking at insurance. We're encouraging you to take a look at the insurance policies right now. If you have questions, reach out to ncbic at jncb.com. Yeah. We have reps ready and waiting. We know people have questions. If you want to make a claim, things like that, so reach out to us. And then for Go IPO, you know, we have a lot of talk around um, investments and those forms of transactions that have mm -hmm. happened in the past one to two months. Right. So we know um, persons might be getting refunds. Refunds are being processed right now for transformation for example so you can check in with go ipo to get that information online um, in the comfort of your home yeah yep. yes and from your mobile app <coughs> there you go so not See, even from the comfort of your home anyway yeah. right. right. make sure you're doing it from your, from your mobile app check yes, your balances yes. and see what's going on in your yes. account well guess what <laughs> no for we are doing from the comfort of your home car government so okay i got away <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, ladies, for stopping by. We appreciate all of this information, and we know you're taking care of us in the branches. We're trying our best to take care of you. Tell us as well when yes, we come in. And if you have a problem with dirty money, yeah, come give me. Yeah, man, just oh. give me. I'll sanitize it <laughs> for you. Oh, wink, wink. <laughs> Daniel Cameron Duncan and Jillian Farrar. Thank Next you. up, Thank you. how to keep your makeup tools safe. What do you know about makeup Not tools? <laughs> and now's not the time for sharing, guys, and we're going to keep you safe after the break with some company.